Hispanic Latinx make up to 18%, I believe, of the American workforce, but only 8% of scientists and engineers. We need to have that representation. We're the largest uh, minority group in the country. And we do not have numbers in STEM that reflect that. Having diversity on any team brings different cultural backgrounds with unique perspectives, which are important when solving complex problems in an innovative way. So taking the STEM path will have you at the center of this change making. With a redirection and refocus of, of Hispanic and Latinx people into STEM, we're looking at possibly creating a new tech workforce. There are so many openings in STEM fields that if it is something that you like and you have a passion for and or, or you even want to experiment to see if you like, because how would you know if you like it if you don't try it? It's a rewarding field. It's a, it's a field in which your curiosity leads you and it's satisfying to, to pursue that. I strongly believe that stereotypes against underrepresented minorities affect significantly when deciding in pursuing or not a career in STEM. I think it's crucial to have visibility for the youth who are maybe unsure of what options they have and want to go somewhere where they'll be able to relate with someone. No one wants to feel like an outsider and everyone wants to feel like they belong. Part of our work is to help people realize that they can do it and that it's an empowering career choice. One of the key things that'll encourage uh, the youth to really follow this is to have like welcoming environments and um, that's one of the key missions of the Hispanic Latinx Network here at the lab.